How's it? So today is Wednesday, January 4th. It is a back squat day. Some overhead press stuff. First um, training, back, our first back squat of the new year. And it is a rainy day. It is excessively raining. Um, it was raining sideways earlier today. It's crazy. Crazy. But going along what I was doing last week, I am um, going two kilos up from last week. So last week I did 122 for four sets of five and then that one set of 10. Last week was not the best. Struggled a little bit, but um, today going two kilos up to 124. I think I... I feel stronger than I, I was it, and it's really been a long time since I felt like I was able to actually do the squat workout properly. I don't think my warm ups were super great. I take an extra rep at 120 um, because I feel like I'm sitting back a little bit too much. Like my upper body is a little bit more upright than I would like it to be and I try to my best to set my hips further back on this rep here at 120 I did not do that very well but I think for 124 some of them I do set my hips back like this one here it's the first set um, the bar path is is okay bar speed is is pretty good and I think positionally my hips feel strong so I think I'm gonna try my best to emulate this moving forward the second rep on this second set, um, I think I got a little bit too behind and then tried to <laughs> fix it there. I got on my toes, a little ballerina. Otherwise, pretty good. Um, I think one thing I mentioned last week was that my lower back on my right side has been giving me quite some issues for like the entirety of last week, I would say. I did a IFC, which is interferential current, which is like a... Uh, electric muscle stimulation last week before I went to the gym and it felt pretty awesome I think that after the gym it felt terrible you know the, the few hours sitting at my desk afterwards it just felt like I got ran over by a truck but um, it did help me get through the training session that day um, I actually did not do it today I didn't have time to do it today but I think my lower back is feeling significantly better I'm not sure how that works at all but I am just happy that it feels the way it does today especially because I'm doing this set right here of 10 I was able to get through everything pretty pretty good so I am again super happy with the way that these squats are, are, are moving uh, even though the quality of this set the reps on this set are just not the best. I am getting tilted forward and leaning quite a bit. And my hips get pushed out the back quite a bit. And it doesn't get better. It just does not get better. Uh, I do make all, all 10 reps, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that... The set of 10 is not indicative of how today went. I think first set, second set, third set, fourth set, all those are more important than this single set um, of 10 here. But I am, again, really happy with how, how it felt and how everything kind of moved. My, I mean, just the, the absence of pain from my lower back is a really big positive for me. So that is something I'm thankful for. And, you know, it's something that I've been working towards. So, yeah, moving on to overhead press. Last week I did 55 for the second week in a row for five fives because I took a bigger jump than I should have. Um, is that what I did? I know I did 55 last week. Did I do 55 two weeks ago? You know, I have no idea. Whatever the case is, I took a one kilo jump today to 56. Um, super easy. Again, kind of sticking in line with the theme that everything should be easy. So I am just 
making sure that I move well and that I am happy with the way that um, my progress is. Like it's slow, but it's slow and consistent. I don't want to run into the wall of weakness um, super quick. So that is something that I I am aiming towards. Um, accessories for today are dips, split squats, back extensions, and my dumbbell overhead walks. Um, not much else to say about today. Overall, I'm just happy that um, I, I'm, I'm moving halfway okay, right? Um, small progress is still progress. So that is what I'm looking at and trying to reframe my perspective around that. You know, 124 for essentially five fives is something that I can do for front squat. So having me do that for back squat is um, seems a little a little bit off, but it's okay. Um, looking forward to how everything's going to be feeling moving forward and how strong I get in the next couple months. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Shoots.